Rosalind travels over five hours to come down to see us. We started her treatment two years ago when she was told she would need surgery to correct an asymmetry. She has worked exceptionally hard with more or less completely corrected the facial asymmetry and gain an improvement in the facial structure itself. Of course, now we're in a situation where we've got to think about the dental alignment. And we've been having a discussion on how we can go about that. The dental alignment is not so good because the stage three training appliance is now keeping the teeth out of their perfect alignment because of its very existence. That's something in the mouth. It's not allowing the teeth naturally to find their own position. I've had quite a lot of success in this situation by removing the appliance for one or two months, monitoring the situation, and coming returning with a stage three expansion appliance. I'll certainly get a little bit of narrowing or contraction of the palate. So the stage three um, expansion appliance can correct that, but by then you'll have a much better occlusion. And I certainly think it's a, a better occlusion encourages a better posture, and it then becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy to finish the result. One thing Dad's pointing out is that if we stop any appliance wear now, she might hang her mouth open more, and we won't control the vertical situation. So she'll drop vertically, and we'll lose a lot of what we've gained. So we were thinking about what appliances we could use, or what steps we could go for the next step, because from you'll see from the photographs, we need a better answer right now. We need something better. Good skeletal result, but she wants straight teeth, as everyone in her position would want. I haven't seen Rosalind for about several months, um, and I'm very pleased with the dental relationships, but not with the dental alignment. Um, I'm also concerned about facial appearance, because this is the main reason for our treatment. When I look at Rosalind, I see that the lower lip height is relatively too long compared with the upper lip height. Now that tells me for certain that her lips are apart quite long periods during every day. When I look at her teeth, I can see that there is substantial spacing, both between the anterior teeth in the vertical relationship and between the individual teeth in the horizontal relationship. She is still swallowing by pushing her tongue forward against her lower lip. Can you just swallow that type of a swallow at that time? You could see the contraction around the lip. That's a clear indication that the tongue is going forward to the lower lip. Obviously, we are not going to close this residual open bite unless we can prevent that. We otherwise, I think the teeth would self-align if the tongue was not getting in there. And if the lips were in constant contact, I think they would align in the nice straight um, row. But as Michael says, taking the brace out would be at risk of teeth moving too far in various directions and are having to do retreatment. I would much rather do a controlled retreat if that's the right way of putting it, and design an appliance that will allow the teeth fairly free movement, but still maintain that fairly fixed closed mouth posture. At the moment, she is unable to drop her mouth more than a millimetre or so without it being uncomfortable. And that is a really good training, because that essentially will change the structure of the bones. That has changed the structure of the bones. Right. Now, my suggestion then would be to use a VT, a vestibular trainer. But the trouble is that it's not um, powerful enough to ensure the closed mouth position. If she didn't have that tongue thrust, I would say okay. But of course, in a way, the VT will help to reduce the tongue yeah, thrust. Would um, I would think it might be better to do a combination of a cutback stage 3 at night 
and a VT during the day. Or I think, a lower, just a lower Hoffman maybe during the day? No, I think you do need something to maintain that closed mouth position. That is the basic powerhouse behind all treatment. Yes, I think she would also find a VT much more comfortable plants to wear during the day. It looks oh, yes. large, but yes. actually when it's on the mountains. Oh no, very small. I, I think I would agree. It will, I hopefully, stop that mentalis contraction with, which goes with the tongue contraction. And the palate, of course, is completely open with the VT, enabling the tongue to practice on the palate where it should be. Well, then we could remove quite a lot of the wires from the existing stage. Yes. Story. Yes, and give her a VT, I think, way of during the day, which she would hardly, well, once yeah. she got used once to it, got she hardly to it, Yes, so you'll be a little bit shocked when you first see the plants, but actually when it's in your mouth, you very hardly notice that it's there. Other people won't notice it, you might. Um, well, now, I don't know, but it's your decision, we're just discussing at large what we think, but I do want to get your teeth straightened up. What do you feel about all this? I'm not sure, really. Really? Okay, if you're happy to go along with our advice, that's what I would recommend. But um, it would be better for you because you're not wearing that big brace during the day, but you'll have something else. But I'm going to be even more ruthless about making sure you can't drop your jaw down at night. Um, but I think you're pretty good. When was the last time you had a sore place? Um, quite a long time ago. Quite a long time. Right, well, I'll just adjust those and we'll go ahead with that impressions. Okay, fantastic. Right.